So it still will be communication, but it won't be any more back and forth. It won't be any more uh, Atlanta Housewives type of me. So you will no longer eat your popcorn and watch our shows. You know what, Tiffany? I disagree. So go ahead and grab you some popcorn if you want or your favorite snack or drink because I've curated a little compilation, if you will, of Tiffany Hinyard in her capacity as the mayor of Dalton and a supervisor of Thornton Township. And then I compared them to the things she used to say as a trustee. Now, whether those things she used to say were actually things she felt and were genuine is really up for debate because the way she switched up after she gained power was pretty drastic. All right, let's go ahead and watch this first example, and this has to do with Citizens Address. We've reached our three minute mark. Okay. Well, I agree with you on we should answer you guys' questions when you come forward. That's the purpose of Citizens Address being placed before. Um, if we can't answer it, then you won't understand what's going on. Otherwise, keep it at the end, but then we will already have taken the vote. Mayor. I don't um, think that's right. I think they should. You should answer that question. That's why you put citizens address before okay. we vote on things. You should answer their questions so they understand. Exactly. That's not right. So let's start with the citizens address because we're going to do something a little different. And I just want to educate you guys on how it will be handled. So no one will be upset or mad. And some people are going to be mad because they don't like change. But you guys ask for this as we door knock or talk to you. You ask for change. And no, we're not. Uh, shedding out your voice okay for the record before you begin um sandra this is public comment so we do not answer any questions right now in the public we will get back to anybody or you want to stay after the meeting to speak to any other department here as you can so attorney you was out of order for that so please stay in line with the agenda which is public comment we are only trying to do a different process as how we communicate with you. So it still will be communication, but it won't be any more back and forth. It won't be any more uh, Atlanta Housewives type of me. So you will no longer eat your popcorn and watch our shows. So when you come here, we're trying to show you we mean business, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to conclude village business as so and move forward. All the nonsense, all the going after my trustees, talking about people, we not going to do. So you guys, she just had to make it known that going after the trustees and stuff, we not going to do, okay? Only she can do that. You're leading these people blindly. The four trustees that's following you. And they should be ashamed of themselves. Trustee Norwood, Trustee Brown, and Trustee Steves. Both of y'all, all, all y'all, should be ashamed. Oh, and voucher. Voucher too. Uh, once we do open up at in-person meetings, that you guys come to the podium with respect, respect my board, respect myself, and respect the process. So you guys get the point. And I have went over this before in a previous video about her shutting down the residents' voices because I feel it really speaks to her state of mind to when she came into power. So instead of choosing to engage the residents more, which is something she always used to preach as a trustee, that she was there for the residents and she was the residents' voices, instead with her newfound power, she chose to do the total opposite and introduce a structure where the citizens basically have no voice now. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next example. And this has to do with them at the board meetings, paying the corporate bills and going over the warrant list. Let's watch. Trustee House, I make the motion to pay the corporate bills. Madam Clerk, uh, Trustee House uh, made the motion. Trustee Henry seconded. Is there any further discussion? Yes, um, I got three questions for, I guess, Chris, you can, are you available to go over this with me? Okay, okay. I'm looking at what page this page eight. Uh, for Lewis, he had $650. What was the services for? One sec, I'm looking for Lewis. Yeah, $650 from May 2020 to August 2020. What's your question? What were the services for? Yeah. I don't have the invoice in front of me. I know it can, it's from May through August is the time period. If you want the actual invoice, I can have that scanned over to you. Yeah, I want to know what we're paying people for. Those are for various video, various events that were recorded. The details of which events I don't have in front of me, but those those invoices can be emailed. Okay. Well, I think I asked in the past, like if y'all could be a little more detail when y'all give us this so we I don't have questions when we get here so if you can give me that I will appreciate that all right is there a motion to pay 
um, the electronic warrant. Motion. Is there a second? Second. It's been a motion and second. Any discussion? Well, I mean, I had a comment. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, when, on this list, um, previously we had we would get access to the My Viewpoint system. When receiving this list, I discovered that there is no longer access to the My Viewpoint system, which is where, as a board member, I would go to look at the invoice, verify it, see if we're comfortable, and identify items to move forward. Um, without having access to this, I have an amended uh, request for approval on this list until invoices can be prepared uh, should this vote be unsuccessful. Thank you. All right. Any more discussion? Okay. Uh, for the record, um, Clerk Key, I have, um, what was it me? Uh, Tangenic Miller. Uh, responded to you guys as it relates to what items or anything you have questions about prior to this meeting so that we can get anything answered so we don't sit here in grandstand um, and have people waiting forever for an answer. Okay. Well, I think I asked in the past, like, if y'all could be a little more detailed when y'all give us this so we, I don't have questions when we get here because that's a lot of money to me for video editing. So if you can give me that, I will appreciate that. The last two are, what is the um, Southwestern Illinois College? It was for $3,000. Which page? That's page 11. That's for um, police training. You said employees? So anybody? Police. police? Yes. Okay. If it's something that you would like us to respond to, us to answer right here and there, you can ask your question now. So is there any questions that you have about the one that's so to pay the bills? Because I say the same thing every single board meeting. What are your questions? We can ask them right here in this meeting. Okay, so I have one question. Um, previously, we had access to view the invoices, and now we do not have access to view the invoices. Why was the decision made to not allow us access to view it and we changed this process to now ask questions. To me, it feels like something is being hidden, which is the reason that you don't want people to see invoices, which is the same reason these information is not put on the website. So what changed that we do know we no longer have access to view the actual invoice? Okay, so let's be crystal clear, crystal clear. I don't have to hide anything. I do not hide anything. Anything you guys ask, y'all get. You guys, the one go do a spin cycle to the residents about you don't get stuff. When we clear as day, show you emails uh, to the residents that you receive everything you ask for. So we asked you then, and I'm still telling you now. If you have a question about a bill that you would like us to address, we will address it. Maybe something happened with your email. I don't know, but that's not me. That's tech. Chris, you find an answer to my question? Uh, not yet. I got to see where I don't have access to the billing from here. So when I get to, I can look into it and get you an answer. So you don't know why y'all charge us 28,000 and is that for just one month or several months? Do you know, do you know that at least? I know you, that it's for work that we've done for you guys over the last month, month and a half, but I don't have the invoice in front of me and I don't have access to the invoices from my computer. Okay. Well, look, I think you need to come here more equipped because I, I'm going to always have questions about this warrant list and you well, never have an answer, especially well, as it relates to your billing of $28,000. I at least thought you could tell me, trustee, this is from um, April to May. You can't even tell me that. Who put this together? Someone put this together so it can go before the board. So when y'all put it together, we're voting on what you guys write. So I'm saying that make sure it's accurate and correct so that I'm giving a, a, the right vote. Why what? did you guys not give me what I was asking for or the board? The board asked for it, I asked for it. Well, you know, when he gave it to you and you said you went and looked at it, you could have called us, emailed it to everybody. We wouldn't even be discussing this right now. We'd be past this if you just gave us what we asked for. Isn't that funny how she can make that sound just so easy? when she was a trustee when she was talking to the old mayor yeah mayor just give us what we asked for you know and then this wouldn't even be an issue right now even though there are multiple occasions okay now that she's mayor where the trustees are asking her the very same thing give us the invoices so we know what to vote on right okay you guys let's move on to the next example this one has to do with credit cards <laughs> 
Yeah, let's watch. Um, I guess I'm just wondering uh, when we receive the credit card bills. I know it's been like a month or two since we received the credit card bills. Um, so since we're going over corporate bills, I was just wondering, um, do, do we have them or will we receive them and when we will receive them, if so? All right. Anybody else? Was that a question? Yeah, it's a question. <laughs> You're not the trustee. Um, ask. I got, I'm going to say my statement so we're not going back and forth. <clears throat> Everybody get out whatever they want to say and then I will respond. Thank you, sir. Anybody else? Everybody got everything out that they wanted to say. All right. As relates to anything that happens here at the Village of Dalton, when we send out the warrant list to the Board of Trustees, it is 24-7 that you work as an elected official. If you get it late on time, you still have time to reach out to myself. As I stated in several meetings, call my phone. I work 24-7. My phone is never off if a board member has a issue, a debate as relates to a warrant list up here. Um, my next question is credit card invoices. I've asked at the last board meeting, and I don't know if you guys recall, the mayor stated that we could put um, the credit card bills on the warrant list. It is not on here. I've asked and I've asked, and I cannot approve bills and not know what I'm approving because I have nothing in front of me to say uh, we bought the mayor could have went on a trip with the credit card how would I know because the bill is not in front of me so again mayor what happened to you putting the credit card bills on the warrant list I don't put the credit card bills on the warrant list and you have the opportunity to uh, vote no on anything that's on the warrant list I understand my rights as okay. a trustee I don't need right. you to inform so. me my question was I asked for you to place it on the warrant list I don't list. put you, things you on stated, the warrant list no 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 last board meeting you stated you we can and it's not on here the credit card bills. I would like to see your itemized um, credit card bills on the warrant list moving forward for the record because I cannot make uh, good decisions based off of the information you're giving me without the credit card bills. I need that. Then Other than no. that, I am voting uh, blindly, so is the entire board. So I would advise the board to uh, look into that and understand what they're voting for because we're just voting for stuff and not knowing what we're approving. Then vote no. I know that, Mayor, but um, my question to you is, why isn't the credit card bills on the warrant list? As you stated, it would be. So there we have it. Her hounding the previous mayor about the credit cards and putting the credit cards on the warrant list. And she wouldn't just let up on him, okay? And rightfully, she shouldn't have because she was a trustee, right? That's their job to look after the finances. But yet we look up to date and now that she's mayor and the trustees are trying to hold her accountable as well with the credit cards. What is she? She can't be bothered, okay? She just can't be bothered. <laughs> um, and she gaslights, you know, she does doesn't answer the questions and she just glosses over them so we all know that let's move on to this next example and this is about the hire and firepower of the mayors let's watch okay next thing on the agenda is old business item a uh, item a is an override of the mayoral veto for ordinance number 18-002 which would be amending section 1-1 8-1 of the Dawn Village Code with respect to the hiring and termination of employees. This was put on by Trustee Muhammad. I'd like to make a motion for the override of mayoral veto ordinance number 18-002. Second. Okay, it's been motioned and seconded to override my veto of the um, ordinance number 18-002. Any discussion on this? Um, I vetoed I vetoed this ordinance. Uh, this ordinance actually gives me no authority in regards to the hiring or firing of any employee here in the village of D Dalton other than my appointed department heads. Uh, the reason I vetoed this because a lot of times politics can play into the role of a person that needs to be hired and or terminated. Because we was in closed session, we cannot really discuss it. Uh, but I will make a statement for the record. Um, I already told the Board of Trustees that this is political retaliation. This is targeting, and they should not um, target these individuals to try to lay them off. Um, I also told them that they will be sued for doing so, um, but yet they're still choosing to 
pick these people, which they said Keith Freeman gave them. So make sure y'all add him in y'all lawsuit um, to target just these individuals. So I have no authority to terminate an employee that um, that may not be up to the standards of, of doing his duties. So, um, so anyway, there's no more discussion. Roll call. On the motion to override the mayor's veto, Trustee Muhammad. Aye. Trustee Stubbs. Aye. Trustee House. No. Trustee Denton absent. Trustee Pearson. Aye. Trustee Henry. Trustee Henyer. Um, I got a question. I'm sorry, Trustee. No discussion. We are roll call. Attorney, it's majority, right? It takes four votes to override. To override it. Yes, ma'am. Trustee Henry, I need your support on this motion. <laughs> no discussion, Mayor. You're not running this, Trustee Mohammed. You've given your vote, and that's it. I need your support on this, Trustee Henry. And Attorney Murphy, this to give the board the power to do the hiring and firing, correct? Yes, it would require board approval of hiring and hiring and firing of any and all employees. And if they if it requires the mayor to submit reasons in writing as to why he's removing an employee, and would uh, allow that to be overturned by a vote of the board. Well, I'm definitely for transparency, so um, I'm a vote aye. Motion carries four. We pass an ordinance that all hiring fires have to run through the board. It's not being followed. I'm not Saturday. I should not get the bill Saturday. None of us should get the bill Saturday. Sunday, nothing. We just got the payroll reports. We don't know what's being spent. It's not personal towards the, the employees. We're just trying to do our job to oversee the taxpayers' money. And it's spent now without checks and balances. This whole thing about we're trying to hurt people we pass ordinances and laws that this administration is not following. That's the only reason. All that hires after January, like Trustee House said, was not come across. We don't, at Public Works, I don't know how many people are over there right now. We don't even have payroll reports. They just sent us the payroll report yesterday. That's just unacceptable. It's unacceptable. I'm not, we're not trying to hurt anybody. We're just trying to do our jobs and be responsible with the taxpayers' money. So the ongoing theme here is, is Tiffany Henyard ended up doing a lot of the same things that the old mayor used to do, okay? The exact same things that she used to call him out on. And the hypocrisy continues. Let's move on. For our last example, we're gonna hit on the credit card subject once again, because trusty Tiffany Henyard has more to say about this and how it should be ran over in Dalton. But then we're gonna compare that to supervisor Tiffany Henyard over in Thornton Township and see what she has to say about the credit cards. Let's watch. I know everybody asking kind of the same questions. So just to clear it up, um, the village is the only person on the credit card, meaning we have our own credit, correct? Yes. No one had to sign or do a personal guarantee. For it's a card. commercial credit card that mm -hmm. says Village of Dalton, Village of Dalton. Okay. That's so no it. one else signed for it with the, to get the credit is what I'm saying. No, it's under the uh, village's tax ID. Okay. Um, when we order cards, why did we not order it in a person's name? What I mean is, for instance, you work for the village and you in charge of getting supplies, so your name will go on that particular card. That way we keep up with who has the cards in their possession. Instead of ordering a card with just the village name on it, I can give it to her, him, anybody I want. We told y'all this at the last meeting, and we're telling you this again. I am not for how you guys drew this ordinance up, and I'm not for having a credit card. You guys wrote my name in there. So do not add my name in something that I do not agree with. So for those that don't know and ain't read this, they added my name to get a card. I do not want a credit card. I do not deal with money. I don't deal with anything. So please do not add my name in something that I do not even agree to. Trustees. If we're limited to two cards, it's basically to contr uh, for internal controls. If you give, have too many cards, that can create an issue. You're chasing multiple people to get receipts. Right, but that that's what I'm saying. We got one person that's supposed to go and purchase everything. That one person name will go in that car. For instance, my business. 
if I have a person that go and buy all my supplies, I add them to my account. So they name will go on a card. So that one person has that card and going to buy all my supplies. So I don't have to look and say, well, you gave the card to Susan today. I don't have to look and see who was spending my money because I gave it to one person. So please remove supervisor from this ordinance. Uh, and I think you guys should replace it, as we told you before, with a manager. If you don't have a manager, you can't produce receipts. Every single department does. People that didn't produce receipts no longer work for Fort Township. So let's be crystal clear about that. So talk to the staff. I think you should go back to the drawing board or adjust what men right here, right now, or go back to the drawing board. One of the two you should do. But do not, please remove me from this. I'm not for that board. So I'm making a motion. I'm making a motion that we amend this ordinance as it relates to a supervisor having any, anything to do with credit card. This is my business. If I have a person that go and buy all my supplies, I add them to my account. So they name will go on a card. So that one person has that card and going to buy all my supplies. So I don't have to look and say, well, you gave the card to Susan today. I don't have to look and see who was spending my money because I gave it to one person. That will be up to to the employee. If the employee wanted, if you wanted to do that, add an employee, have that employee's name on the card, that employee would have to give the personal information. Some employees don't want their social security number tied to the village. It's a business account, they want to leave it at that. Okay, I don't get why you keep saying they got to add a social, you do not. You add a person name and that's it, and they add it to the card. Now they are a signer on the card. Now, so now with MB, because you have to have your name, your name, your social, and your date of birth tied to the card, mm. if you have an employee's name on it. Okay, I haven't heard that, but okay. You answered my question. I just wanted to make sure there was just the village on the card, and I just don't like the process of you guys having two cards, and everybody gets to use those two cards. Now you have to look at the uh, receipt you get to make sure whoever signed on it was authorized to use the card. That's my issue. I just think we should kind of work on that to kind of make it look better than what it is. So as we can see as a trustee, she voiced her issues about there being just two credit cards with the village of Dalton name on it because any employee could just go buy whatever they wanted. But on the flip side, as a supervisor, okay, supervisor of Thornton Township, she didn't want her name on any of the cards, okay? But she wanted to give that responsibility to any and all of the staff. Do you see how backwards that is? I mean, when she's the one that's throwing all these events, setting them up, and we know that she's not letting people just take total control, letting them go out and do whatever they want to do. OK, that's not happening. Not with the way Tiffany Henyard likes to control everything. So while at the same time, she's probably behind the scenes purchasing all these things. She doesn't want her name to be on anything and she will let any and everybody be the fall guy. All right. That's just my opinion. But there was something that was consistent in both of these places, okay? In Dalton and Thornton Township, there didn't seem to be a real order of purchasing, okay? As we could hear from Tiffany herself, you know, in Thornton Township, all the department heads had their own credit card and they could just go out, buy whatever they want, whenever they want. When in reality, what's probably going on too is that Tiffany is going in there, taking the cards, doing whatever she wants with them. And the only real accountability that comes back are on the department heads. When we know if she came in there asking for the card to buy something, they really couldn't deny her because they might be afraid to lose their jobs. The credit card usage in Dalton and in Thornton Township were probably never really structuralized. There probably wasn't much responsibility as to who was spending what, when they were spending it. And so Tiffany just adopted those same attitudes and those same practices and just took it to the thousandth degree right like she does everything well you guys that's going to be it for today if you enjoyed the video please remember to leave it a like and if you're new here subscribe subscribe and that's what we're going to do we're going to conclude village business as so and move forward all the nonsense all the going after my trustees talking about people we not going to do you still want to see him be a uh, nonchalant play on your phone and not take care of the people. That's how you want to do it. But you want to be the leader, right? You want to be the mayor, right? But you don't want to take care of the business and run it like a mayor. I would at least offer an apology to the people that sat here and waited for the people not to show up and do what they do. I mean, you would think that you would get an apology, but again, you have to have a little class for that. <laughs> As I always say, Reggie, just because you wear a suit don't make you suitable. And that's trust me, happy.